for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? What would you like Capricorn to know? How does their person feel about them? If they're single, who might be coming towards them? Just what are the messages? How does the person they're dealing with feel about them? There's some actions they might be taking. What is Capricorn? If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, and comment. If you'd like me to subscribe to your channel, just comment that and I will. Okay, so at the bottom we have the Ace of Pentacles. So you could have somebody coming in who's going to offer you long-term stability. Also, I feel like your finances are going to be really good. Like this is the hand of God giving you financial blessings. So just be ready for that. Okay, hold on. That's at the bottom. I'm not going to put it out. But I wanted to see what else is under here. Look what else is at the bottom. We have the Lover's Card and the High Priestess. So you have a spiritual connection that's coming towards you, Capricorn. Yeah, this is like a past life soulmate or somebody you've known since you were like young is coming towards you here. Let's see. This person's been watching you. They like to keep an eye like on your social media, stuff like that. So just be aware that this person has their eye on Capricorn. This person also talks about you to like friends, family, stuff like that. So they could be like a family friend or like I said, if you don't know them in this lifetime, you knew them in a past life. Um, especially because at the bottom we have the, the lover's card. So that lets me know that this is like a twin flame energy too. And we have the knight of wands. Could be dealing with a fire sign. This person's very um, passionate about you. This person's also like really fiery. So you might know them because they like to wear like bright colors like red, oranges, yellows. Like this person's not afraid to wear bright colors. Yeah, it could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with here. This is also another soulmate card. This angel does alchemy to bring two soulmates together. Also, I feel like you're um, going to be very grounded, very healing. Like, you have like a healing energy coming in here with this person. Yeah, if you've been like heartbroken in the past, it's just like saying that you're going to come out of that heartbreak. Yeah, look, you can't make it up, Capricorn. This is your divine counterpart. This person's like a very kindred spirit. It's like you're not only going to be lovers, but you're also going to be like really good friends. And so we have the Two of Cups here and then the angel doing the Two of Cups alchemy. So this is being brought together by the divine. You can't make it up. This is a be really beautiful reading, Capricorn. This person wants long-term stable commitment with you. Like, they want the husband, the wife, the kids, the cat, the dog, and the grandpa, which talks about long-term commitment, like building a legacy together. Yeah, and then we have another soulmate indicator. So this is just a huge, huge soulmate reading. This person is bringing you love. They want to offer you love. This is the only knight in tarot who has the capability to bring you a soulmate love. And then we have the magician. So... You manifested this person here, didn't you? You manifested them. I don't know if you've been praying, if you've been doing affirmations, or if you've been writing things down. You could have done this under the new moon or something like that that we just had last week. But it's like you manifested this. You are the magician, Capricorn. Like you have the money, you have the love, you have the wand for passion, the sword for communication. And then you have your hand raised above, as, as above, so below. So it's like you were bringing down heaven to earth. It's like you were praying this person here. Um, this person, it's like, hold on, I want to see what's next after this Eight of Cups. It's because it's like you just walked away from something, yeah. See, it's like you're walking straight into this person. Like, you're not even going to see it coming. It's just like you're going to be out one day. And you're going to walk right into your person. And I feel like it's a fire sign energy because we have heavy Sagittarius energy here. But it could be any sign. But it's just this person's like very passionate. Like you're going to know them because they're just such a charismatic character. Like I said, they could wear bright colors. But you're going to walk like right into this person when you're out one day. Yeah, you're not even going to see it coming. It's like you are not going to see this coming at all. You're going to walk right into them. Yeah, and you're going to end up marrying this person. This person's here for long-term, stable commitment, Capricorn. Um, this is also a Taurus energy. Whatever it is, like if you've been upset because of like a divorce or something that happened in your past, you're going to come out of that energy. 
and you're going to go on a brand new journey. This is this is also Aries energy, more fire energy. There's just so much fire in this reading. So if you are just met a fire sign and you'd like a reading, just email me. It'll be in the description. My readings are only $17 for a 25-minute video. I'm highly accurate. I've never had a bad review. And I predict things people cannot even believe, okay? I'm just being very honest. You're going to go on this brand new journey. You're not even going to be thinking about your past no more, okay? So if you were like married and you, you're like separated or something like that, you're headed towards your future, which is these two of cups, your soulmate. You're not even going to see it coming, okay? This person is coming and you're going to feel just like so free and so light, just like the fool. You don't have to worry about like deception. Like the person you were with before could have been like very deception, like lied a lot and stuff like that. You're leaving that energy. You're moving fast forward into something else. Um, you're going to be getting like lots of phone calls, text messages from your new person. This new person's not going to want to let go of you at all. They're going to hold on to you for dear life. And then here is your energy, Capricorn. You're very stable, grounded. Um, don't worry about finances. Like I'm telling you, your finances are going to be good. Yeah, this person's going to rush in. Like this person's going to come in out of nowhere and just like sweep you off of your feet. Yeah, you're not even going to see it. This person wants to fight for you. Okay, so you have somebody here. They're going to want to knock the competition out. Like if they know that they have competition for you, they're going to want to get them out of the way. You're no longer going to feel like you're having anxiety, worry, nightmares. That's all going to leave. You're moving fast. Like I see so much quick energy here. Okay, the eight of wands, the knight of swords, the chariot. That's all really fast moving energy. And you're headed right into your destiny with the chariot card. Yeah, like whatever happened to you, like if you had a split up from somebody, could have been a Cancerian or something. If you had a breakup with somebody, you're leaving that energy. Like that energy is completely leaving you and you're headed towards wish fulfillment. Yeah, you're going to get truth, clarity, and communication. Yeah, and if you're worried about like, um, like I said, this new person, this normally could mean like mind games, jealousy, envy, crap like that, but not with this. This person wants to be the last man or woman standing. They're going to knock the competition out because they know that you're very good looking and you're very abundant and you have like they view you as wish fulfillment. So they want to cut out any competition. That's why this sword is here. That's why they have these swords. They want everybody out of the picture. OK, so just be like aware of that. Um, then we have the three of wands. So this person could live at a distance from you. Yeah. And if you're worried, I feel like you could be worried that this person is lying or something like that. They're not. We have the devil in reverse. This is a good person coming towards you like. The devil energy is leaving you. Whoever broke your heart, played mind games in the past, that person's leaving. And then we have the king of wands. So you guys are divine counterparts. We have the king and the queen of wands. You both are going to be very, very passionate about each other, okay? So that's what I have for you. Let me roll you some dice. These are some signs you could be dealing with. And please leave a comment. I don't care what it is. Just leave a comment. Um, let's see. And please make sure you subscribe and like. Okay, we have Aries, Sagittarius. See, there was a lot of fire. Um, Taurus, Gemini, Aries, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Cancer. Wow, two Cancers at the end there. So those are some signs, and here's an angel number. Let's see, Google angel number five, nine, five. That don't come out very often. So angel number 595, Google that. And then in the front, we have 171. If you want to Google that number too, you can. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like a reading, just email me. It'll be in the description.